I'm Megawatt, the project supervisor of S-Link 2. If you want to know more about this project, you've come to the right place. S-Link 2, which will be commissioned in 2014, is the second high-voltage direct current connection between Estonia and Finland, integrating the Baltic stronger to the Northern European electricity system. S-Link 2 triples the amount of electricity that can be transferred between Estonia and Finland. Why do we need this connection, you ask? Does it mean that we can't manage with the local electricity anymore? Yes, we can, but the new connection gives the manufacturers and consumers the opportunity to sell and buy electricity on the considerably bigger Baltic Sea electricity market. In addition, S-Link 2 connects the Baltics to the Nordic energy system and therefore the rest of Europe, which guarantees a higher security of electricity supply for the whole region. After Estonia opens its electricity market entirely, our 1000 megawatt interconnections will be sufficient for the effective operation and energy can flow from Estonia to Finland and vice versa. Come, come closer. I'm just warming up. You see, S-Link 2 is more than just a sea cable. It starts from the Pussy substation in Estonia. Next to the substation is the Pussy converter station, where alternating current is converted to direct current. Next, the land cable runs 12 kilometers underground until it reaches the Gulf of Finland, where 145 kilometers of sea cable is installed in the seabed. On the Finnish mainland, S-Link 2 continues as a 14 kilometer overhead line to Antela converter station, where electricity is converted back to alternating current for the Finnish main grid. It's also important to mention that the link can be operated and therefore power can be transmitted in both directions, from Estonia to Finland and from Finland to Estonia. How does S-Link 2 work? You see, at home we use alternating current, whereas S-Link 2 is a direct current connection that needs the wristers to convert alternating current to direct current and vice versa. S-Link 2 has the capacity of 650 megawatts, enough to light up 16 million 100 watt light bulbs, or to do laundry 650,000 times with a washing machine. It takes two circuits, the main conductor and the return conductor, to transfer energy through S-Link 2. Therefore, the two cables are installed to a depth of 1.5 meters on the mainland of Estonia. When installing the underground cable, we use the corridors of the existing high voltage power lines as much as possible. This will decrease the possible impact of the works on the environment and the landowners. In Estonia, a sea cable with such parameters has never before been installed. The diameter of the cable is 15 centimeters and it weighs 76 kilograms a meter. In the sea cable, the main conductor and the return current conductor are integrated into a single sheath. This way, we save costs and sustain the environment. The cable's construction guarantees there is no pollution even if it's damaged. This is one powerful cable. Watch this. <laughs> the 450 kilovolts of voltage in the C cable is about 2,000 times higher than the voltage in our home outlets. The cable will be installed on the seabed and buried up to one meter with a high pressure water jet by a Norwegian robot. From April to June, we let him rest and the work is paused because we don't want to disturb the fish during their spawning season. In coastal waters, the cable is shielded with concrete slabs and protective shells are used where S-Link 2 crosses other cables. To sum it up, after the commissioning of S-Link 2, the Baltics will have a stronger high voltage connection with Northern Europe and we will have an electricity supply we can always rely on. Thank you for your attention.